So today on my video blog, vlog thing, I'm gonna tell a story about when I was a total brat and hopefully now I can redeem myself by turning it into an inspirational story for you at home. Actually, it's for the children. This is to inspire the children. Growing up, I had just the worst teeth. I had like teeth coming out in weird places, like at the top of like, like these teeth, like up there. And I was like the Steve Buscemi of children. It was just like a war zone. It was like District 9 in there. I had three sets of braces. I had like weird chains like that were pulling my teeth different directions. My whole face was just magnetic. I was like Bane. Oh, would you like to see me eat corn? I would walk by a refrigerator and just be like <laughs> I ended up having like four oral surgeries. I swear I had like 16 wisdom teeth or something. Like they just kept growing. There was like a wisdom tooth factory in my jaw. So at one point they needed to widen my mouth, which sounds horrifying. And it is horrifying because they're they're widening your skull. They're literally taking your skull and going mm. And they do this via a horrible little demonic device called a palate expander. Now, the thing they didn't tell me about the palate expander is that as it's pulling your skull into two pieces, it separates your front teeth. So you just have this like giant gap in between your front teeth. That definitely happened to me. Surprise! Now, I already didn't have like a lot of friends growing up. I mean, I like I said in my last video, I was homeschooled. I looked like this, I was not popular, and having this giant tunnel in my face did not help things. I became a total hermit. I didn't wanna leave the house. I wouldn't go to dance. I wouldn't go to any social event. I wouldn't even go to the mall. I also told my mom that I was not gonna go on any acting auditions while I had this mouth condition, but my agent did call at some point and said, hey, there's this casting call for a small, freckled, redheaded girl uh, for an album cover. Can Lisa come audition for it? And I was like, nope, mm -mm, not happening. Nope, not gonna do it. No, no, are you kidding me? I did, no, not, no. Not in a thousand years. No, you can drive a semi through my front teeth. Dude, I was a total brat. I would call myself a bitch, but I was too young and I feel like that term should be reserved for those of us who are older and deserve it more. So my mom called my agent back and was like, hey, listen, Lisa won't come out of her room. Like every time we open the door, she just like, <sighs> like hisses at us. We're terrified here at the Foyles household. Um, she's not gonna audition for this. My agent said she would be perfect. She has to audition. Just, just snap a couple photos of her, uh, like looking mean, uh, and then send it to us, and that'll just be her audition because it's a, it's a photograph anyway. It doesn't she doesn't need to actually like act or anything? And turns out when the band got my audition photos, they saw the big gap in my teeth, and I booked the job on the spot. That's what made them fall in love with me. This is my, my big ugly teeth. So I was really apprehensive to go on this job because, you know, again, like I, I felt really insecure about myself. I already didn't feel like I was pretty. Uh, I had problems with my skin. I had really bad skin. I still do to this day. Like sometimes I won't even make a video because I'm just really self-conscious about the way I look. But I ended up going out on this job and it was probably the most fun job I've ever booked. The crew was so cool. The band was so fun and funny. And I mean, look at these photographs. How fun does that look? There's like, there's like a kiddie pool. There's a dog. There's a, he's just like a mailman. He's just like a milkman. This kid's a pirate for some reason. And they, the band members became like, my big brothers that day. The band was called Sugar Bomb and they're an amazing band. Their music is so good. You have to look it up. Uh, find their songs on YouTube. I don't think they're around anymore, but hopefully the individual band members are still making music because they were so talented. And look, I'm not very good at being like inspirational or anything like that, but I know that everybody has their thing. You know, some people are ashamed of their skin like me. Some people are ashamed of their weight or their they have, they have like a weird shaped head or they don't like their legs or they have weird like elbows, but this experience made me realize that you can use what you think are imperfections to your advantage and what you might think is ugly, other people might think is hilarious or brilliant or artistic or funny. I mean, those teeth really do make that photo. I will admit, that is hilarious. Um, another set of braces later, I closed the gap and my teeth look great now. <laughs> But in usual fashion, even though my teeth are fine now, I have other things that bother me about myself, and I'm sure you do too, so... Like my studio being dirty, that's... 
Get out of here, Buzz! Get out of here! So children, you're the future. Just remember, the things you hate about yourself, they can make you money and book you jobs and put you on album covers. Plus, at the end of the day, they gave me that bicycle. And they signed it. So, even if you look like Madonna, you can still get a free bike. That's, that's the moral. Yep. That's the moral of the story. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that one.